Muslim shouldn't fall into this shallow understanding. I don't have the dunya. I have no possession of this dunya. And what do these people possess? This world is nothing in comparison to the Akhirah except for dip your finger in an ocean so let you see what clings to your finger one dip and that ocean is paradise that small dip that we rejoice in on a daily basis this world is a lush green place. Thus the Prophet Muhammad said, Fattaku dunya. Fear this world. Wattaku nisa. And fear the fitna of women. Fattaku dunya. Why should you fear this world? Because this world will overtake you. Take your mind away from the path towards the akhirah. And the mu'min sees through this dunya. And this has been narrated about the Isra wal Mi'raj. That the dunya appeared to the Prophet Muhammad as an old woman. With grey hair. Beauty has been taken away from her. There is nothing left. That is the parable of this dunya. With all respect to our respected sisters. But an old woman. Nothing is left. That's the perception of this dunya. How did he see this dunya? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kud dunya, kun fi dunya ka anna ka gharibu abin sabir. Being this dunya as a stranger, or as a wafer, as a traveler. How many of us have heard this hadith on so many occasions? Are we ghuraba in the dunya at the moment? Are we strangers? Do we feel like strangers? Do we feel like wayfarers and travelers in this dunya? A traveler only stops in the shade. Mali wa mali dunya. What what is my relationship with this dunya? Except for a traveler who stops and rests underneath a shade. Al Hadith Marawahu Imam Ahmad in Musnadihi. And likewise you find Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu that in the dunya has been exposed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the wealth and the possessions of this dunya Umar ibn al-Khattab enters into the house or into the hujra of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and sees him lying on a reed mat a mat made from palm leaves. Try it some day to lie down on straw put together. And you'll feel it would scar your body, leave marks on your feet for those people who prayed with a straw mat. Umar begins to cry. And says, look at the leaders of the dunya and what they possess and what they own. And you lie on a mat like this, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What does he say? Leave these people alone. Mali wa mali dunya. What is with me and the dunya? I have nothing to do with this dunya. Inna mathali karakim. I am only a traveler who travels through this dunya and takes shade underneath the tree and then rides his beast again and continues again.